Hey guys, this is Abos Not Examatronics here, and today I'm going to be doing a video of my robot vacuum collection, or basically just Roomba collection. Um, the reason I am making this video is because many of you probably do not know this yet, but Roombas were like a big part of my childhood. I loved them when I was little, especially the 400 series, which is the main series that was out when I was little. Um, especially the 400 model. The, that was the one that I grew up with. Well, one of the ones, that was the first one I got. Um, my parents ended up getting it because they needed to clean the room. So they got the 400. 400 was the, I, it, it was a red one because there's like a bunch of different colors of the 400. The one I got was red. Um, and I loved it so much. I would follow it around everywhere. It, it was just, it was, it was epic. I, I was just, it was good times. So I love that thing so much um, that they ended up getting more. Um, I don't have any of those anymore, though. They all probably got donated, unfortunately. But, um, but I do have three, these three, which I got later on. First one was that one, and then I got these two recently as gifts. So the 870, I believe, came from, like, Amazon, brand new. Um, my parents got that one because they wanted one again because they're, they're good. <laughs> they're, they're good. They're actually pretty cool, like, their functions and overall. Um, and that one is, it's probably the best one out of the three. It, well, it is. It's the 800 series. That's just a 500 series, not the 400 series. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we use it all the time. It's very good. Um, we set it a schedule. Um, and it's, it's just, it's awesome. And it still works perfectly today. I've been making sure to, like, clean it out all the time and, like, give it proper maintenance. And it's never had any issues before it's still going strong um not even the batteries died yet which i'm pretty surprised it's still lasting after like four years but um and then i got these two so these two right here were my neighbors originally and they got them um like back when they were first released but i believe that this one is actually a remanufactured one there's like a sticker on the back of the battery or the back of the, the area where you insert the battery that says remanufactured iRobot. So they basically just threw a bunch of parts together to make that, which explains why it actually has the incorrect model number underneath. It says 4225, which is supposed to be a gray scheduler, but it's not a 4225. It's a 42110 or 4210. So yeah, they basically just threw a bunch of parts. And surprisingly... This one also fully works. This one is not needed repairs. Well, obviously it's in need a new battery, but other than that, no repairs were necessary. Still fully works. And it works good. Well, it for well for its age it works good. Obviously these two are like 10 times better than the 400 series. They do a much better job. They pick up more stuff, but for its age, it, it's in good working condition and um I'm happy with it. Um especially cuz the 400 series Roombas were very nostalgic for me growing up because they're like, they're the 400 series. They're, they're, they're like my favorite because they were the ones that I grew up with. Then we have my 530, which also came from my neighbor um, as a gift. Also had a dead battery. At first, um, I put the new battery in and charged it, charged it right up and it worked perfectly. No, no issues at all. Um, it actually cleaned really nicely almost as good as the 870 believe it or not so that was for a long time about a week until uh one day it, it started giving me error nine which is the um l which is the left bumper sensor the left bumper sensor was dead so i started doing that circle dance thing where it goes in circles and i'll demonstrate that a little later on but yeah, it has nine beep air and then <laughs> like a day after that it also gives me charging air three which is, I believe, due to dirty contacts, and and you can see it's obviously it's it's all charged up. It's still able to charge, and only gives it gives the air to me occasionally, which leads me to believe that the contacts are just dirty. They just need a cleaning because they're able to work sometimes, but not others. So that means that they can't be bad. Well, I don't know. It might be, but I don't think they are. But I could be wrong. Yeah, but I don't think they are. So yeah, it has charging error three occasionally, and um, error nine, which is the bumper sensor, specifically the left one. So it has the circle dance syndrome, which I actually ordered the part for it a couple days ago. Um, I believe it's like an LED or something that you have to put on. So hopefully when, when that comes, I will, um, tear it apart and fix it all, fix it all up. 
So, yeah, and then um, for the other one, I'll just clean up those contacts, and it should be good as new. Because it really does a good job, in my opinion. It's, it's like, as good as the 870. The 870 has a little better technology, and I've seen that in the cleaning. Like, it has better wall following, um, and it has a better dirt detect. These two, for dirt detect, they just go in circles, but the 870 goes, like, in a back and forth movement like that. Same thing for the 700 series. But the 600 series down, they use the circle movement for the dirt detect. All right, so there's not really much to like show with them. I can show you like the um, the discovery. Um, I'll show you what I mean by like the model number and everything. See, it says model number two 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 five. But if I go ahead and take the battery out, if I can get it, there we go. Again, this is a new battery. This is actually a um, not an iRobot brand battery. So like it says ma remanufactured. Um, the Ruba, the discovery only gets up to like. 45 minutes battery life per run and it takes a little while to charge but i'm guessing that's because of the battery it's not an original battery and it's probably not a good one either but it's not really a, it's not a defect with the actual robot it's just the battery so i'm not worried if it dies again then i'll just replace it i don't i don't I'm not, i don't see myself using the discovery too much anyway since it's older one doesn't do as good of a job plus i do want to preserve the condition it's in before it starts having um issues so yeah, and kind of same thing with the 530, and, and even the 872, I try to use all three of them as little as possible. Um, the, what A robot vacuum that I do, I'm really trying to get, I'm saving up for it right now, is the Neato D4. It's like cheap on the Amazon right now, and it's got like the smart navigation, and the Wi-Fi, and like the, it, it's just really good. So, yeah, but in the meantime, I've got these, these boys, and they are good. Um, I'll show you the 530 next. Uh, very yellowed, as you can clearly see. Not really in the best condition, but it, um, once I get it all fixed up, it'll be working good. This one doesn't have a model number. It doesn't say what the model number is, which is interesting. I mean, I guess it says right there on that little number. Let me get the focus. There we go. But yeah, other than that, not really. All right, so that's that one. Oops, sorry, messed up the camera. And the 870 here also has a little bit of wear, like little chip off the front right there and like little bumps all around, but it's actually in kind of good condition. And this one's good because it uses these brush, these uh, silicone rollers, so it doesn't get tangled. And there's a the model number. That would focus. There we go. Um, 870. Here's the, the number on the bottom. I don't think the Discovery has a number. Or it just might be somewhere where I don't know it is. Because I looked on the bottom. Oh, I just turned it on. <laughs> so, that's that. So, uh, moving on to the accessories. Basically, I just have... one. Like, the, these two came with... Um, Everything but those two walls at the end and these do have some extra like filters and stuff But I'm just not showing them. I don't know if I don't really think it's necessary But they do have like extra brushes and filters and stuff as well um, And then I kept the old batteries for literally no reason <laughs> So we have one regular virtual wall two scheduler virtual walls one um, lighthouse virtual wall for the 530 two of the 870 volt virtual walls um, those two chargers at the end and the third charger for the 870 as you can see um, And then those three remotes right there the regular the scheduler and the 530 remote So now I'll, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of the activation of each um, I won't do too long because otherwise this video is gonna be like 15 minutes long it's probably still gonna be So yeah, let's start with the discovery um Clean and max are basically just the same thing, but clean goes for a little shorter and max goes for a little long. Max um, kills the whole battery before it goes to dock. Clean just goes for like a little while and then it goes to dock. Um, but honestly, it drains the same amount for me because the battery's not that good. Because it's a, it's a, uh, it's not the original battery. So yeah, I'm just going to hit max because yeah.
can see this one's wall following is a little bit um little off, but it's not perfect, it's not too bad either. Could be better. And I was gonna come over and try to eat my cords. What's cool about the remotes is the remotes actually allow you to access a sound that you can't access without the remotes. And I'll show you that sound right now. And like this, go that goes for all of those, by the way. I think I might be too close to the 5.30 for some reason. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, I might do a modification to the home base that might help it. Um, like maybe stick an extra piece of tin foil on there that makes it stick out more, so it'll ease, it'll dock more easily. But yeah, that's basically the um, that one. But now I'll show you the 530. Sometimes it actually decides to work at first, but then it'll start like going in circles with the circle there. The question is, will it work this time? Let me Oh my god, it actually wants to work today. So you can see the bumper, it's acting as if it's been pressed. See? That's the 9 beep error. It's it's not a it's not a major case, it's just a mine it's not like a severe case of it. But it's there at all and it affects the cleaning performance, so it should be fixed, which is why I ordered the part and which is why I will fix it. See, you can see it's like backing up like that. See? Because it thinks it's been, it thinks it's hit something. Well, that time it actually did hit something. But it seems to be working better than usual, actually. Typically, it w oh, it just knocked the discovery out of, oh, never mind. It's working better than usual though. Thinks it's been pressed clean. What the heck? I don't know what just happened, but I think it's all good now. So let's have a dock. If it actually decides to dock. There we go. Let's see if it actually wants to dock or if it just does that sensor thing and it just knocked the discovery out of place again. You're so close, dude. Oh, there we go. No, you're not gonna do that. Yes, you got it, you got it. Yeah, there we go. He actually got it, wow. All right, now I'll show you a little demo of the 870 who also works perfectly. Here we go. I'm cleaning my pegboard. He's gonna go attack his own virtual wall. Let's see how it does with that cord. That's its home base cord. 870s, the, um, the silicon roller system also helps um, prevent tangling, um, tangling in the brushes. And there it goes. There we go.
There we go, he's gonna die perfectly. All right, that basically wraps up the video. That's all the Roombas. Um, if I get more, which I don't know if I will, I'm like I said, I'm trying to get the D4 Nito, but I would very much like to get another one of the 400 uh, models that I used to have as a kid on eBay, specifically a red one, because that was like, like a childhood item and I'm trying to regain it. Um, 5.30, I will get fixed as soon as I get the parts, so don't worry about that. These two, I will try to preserve their current conditions for as long as I can. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.